Hey everyone, it's Amber Dawn. In case you didn't realize, I changed my name from Adiva on a Dime to Amber Dawn. The reason behind that is when I first made my YouTube channel, I wanted to make videos that were based on finance, reselling, coupons, um, money saving tips, things of that nature. And I realized as I was making the videos and then as my viewers were watching the videos, we enjoyed videos that were outside of that general category. So I wanted to change the name to Amber Dawn, which is my first and middle name, so that it can cover everything and my business ventures, my reselling, all that sort of thing will still be under a diva on a dime. So if you're interested in following on that daily hustle, I'll link my Instagram name below and all my reselling, everything of that nature is still a diva on a dime. So if you have any questions for that, you can always email me or just send me a DM and I can cover that through a diva on a dime. Moving forward, I will be Amber Dawn, so don't be alarmed if you see a new name or you watch past videos and you see a different name. Amber Dawn, a diva on a dime, same person. So moving on to today's video, we're going to do another unboxing of a Thread Up Rescue Box. This will be my second Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing and I'll link my first video in the description. And this box is going to be a different box than I've ever done before. Outside of Thread Up, I've, I've done different like mystery reselling boxes or people if they're moving they'll do like a reseller's lot and you can buy all different types of tops, dresses, things of that nature. But this is shoes, and I've never done shoes before, but I love selling shoes because they're so easy to photograph. And I did the small box just because it's my first box. I didn't know what I was getting. So the box that I chose is seven pairs, and I think I paid $38 for them. So when you choose a small box, you don't get the option of the miscellaneous sizes. You do have to pick a general size. So I picked size seven. Based on my reselling experience and just my friends, um, a size seven is a basic neutral middle ground of women's shoes. Um, so I've sold a lot of size seven before. I know a lot of people that wear a size seven. So I thought my first reselling box, I will do a size seven. So you can see I have not opened this yet. It's still sealed, but I did take off my um, mailing label with my address just for security reasons. So I will unbox it. And a little side note, I just got this um, box cutter, box opener from Amazon and I get a lot of packages in the mail daily, weekly, and I have moved a lot so I know how packaging is. So anyways, I have used scissors, box cutters, you name it, I've used it. And this Beyond is my favorite one so I will link this down below and it came with two so I'm super excited about that but it is amazing just a little side note so let's start unboxing all right let's see what we have So you can see polka dotted thread up you know it's a rescue box you know it's from thread up and it includes my little invoice what I chose so size 7 rescue box seven pairs for $38 I did have to pay shipping it was $5.99 flat rate shipping and of course the day after I purchased this thread up rescue box the very next day they did free shipping on rescue boxes so I did order another rescue box and that's gonna be another video but still $38 for seven pairs it's not a bad deal and since I've never done this before for the rescue boxes I don't know what to expect I am hoping for spring and summer shoes as we are currently in spring and we're moving on to summer but if I did get a mix of fall or winter that's fine I'll just hold on to it until those seasons come to resell those so let's see what we got. And it's wrapped so beautiful and I just tear it up. Okay, so it comes with this, which I love because this is expensive. This is expensive to buy and I keep all of this so that when I'm shipping home goods or something fragile, 
I just keep this on hand to ship that. So if you're reselling, keep that in mind. Oh, each, oh look, each of them, oh, that one fell out, but they are wrapped individually. All seven pairs of shoes are wrapped individually. So I don't even, I've already opened it up and I don't know what they look like, but I can see that these are black and they are in pretty good condition. You can see the bottom. Um, I'm trying to see the brand. It says Mini Tonka. I've never heard of that brand. Yep, yep, Mini Tonka. So, not what I was hoping to get for my first shoe that I opened, but it works. It's in pretty good condition. Um, it's obviously been stored somewhere for a hot minute. That's why it's curling up like that, but I mean, the bottoms, they have been worn a few times. You can see the heel area is a little worn, but they've been worn a few times. Not my style, but I'm sure they will sell. Next pair. This one's packaged a little bit better. Oh, we got a pair of Vans. I've never actually sold Vans. I own Vans and my husband wears Vans, but... Um, again, these are really good condition. So you can see the bottom. They're not really worn, not really used. Not my style again, but it is a fun print. These are someone's style. Someone will love these. And I'm excited that I got Vans because it's a brand I'm familiar with. And these are, you know, these are cute. And I own a pair like this that are just all white. And they're super comfortable. So... Yeah, I like these better than the first pair, that's for sure. So, that is good. <sighs> okay, moving on to the third pair. I can already tell based on the width. Well, I can already tell based on, I guess, I guess it would be width, but just the overall feel, these are sandals. Or really super thin flats, but I'm going to go with sandals. Ooh, and these are the most worn so far. So these are just some nice sandals, which is good. This is what I wanted for this time of year anyways. So sandals, um, the brand is Vic. I do not know it. I don't know if this is a foreign brand because the size is 37. It does say... Made in Italy, I think. Um, I don't know this brand. Have you ever heard of this brand? If you have, please let me know in the comments. Um, I also, with anything I resell, I always look up the comps to see you know, what they sell for, what they have gone for in the past, and what they're currently listed for. So I will see if anyone else is selling these. I don't even know, it looks like a starfish. I don't even know how to describe that, but someone's style again they will like it um yeah pretty cool but you can see on the bottom you can see these are really really these are worn these are the most worn that we have have okay so three down four to go these look like heels i'm gonna say these look heels let's see Yep, heels they are. These are Style & Co. Another brand I have not heard of, but these look brand new. They honestly do. They don't look like they have been walked on before. Maybe just tried on, but definitely not walked outside in. You can see um, they are just a size 7 Style & Co. I've never heard of them, but this is what they looked like. So, it's an open toe. I love shoes with cutouts. I just love cutouts. I don't like to wear shoes. I would rather just go barefoot all the time. So, any shoe that has a cutout or open toe, I prefer as my foot feels naked in a sense. But, just a nice little zip up in the back. So, these are cute. And it's a small heel, so if someone's not really wanting 
to devote themselves to a heel. It's good for you. All right, well, all right, that's okay. Still nothing that I was hoping to get. I was wanting some fun spring colors, but. Oh, I can see these are flats. A little pop of color with these. Okay, so this is, oh, Tommy Hilfiger. And they're just nice little round toe flats, like ballet flats. Uh, these are definitely worn. Yep, size seven, but these are definitely worn, you can see. And um, I would say these are very specific taste because not everyone is gonna want something on the toes of their shoes, as well as making that noise when they walk. It would drive me wild. Um, it looks like it's navy and like a reddish color, but it's cute for someone. Tommy Hilfiger again, at least it's a brand I realize, I know. Um, still not that impressed with this box. We have, I think two more left. Yeah, oh, these are very heavy. Oh my, these are very heavy. Let's see. Wasn't expecting to pick that up. Okay. So these are, ooh, vintage. Hmm. So they're made of leather, which that's cool, but. I'm not impressed with them. These are very worn, and you can see the bottom of them. They don't look that bad, but you can just tell with the overall material. There's a little slight stain on the back of the shoe. Um, these are worn. They don't have a smell, so that's a plus. But it says on the bottom, vintage made in USA. Never heard of that brand, I do not know that brand. And these are heavy it's the whatever this is made out of is what's weighing this down but it's a good neutral color but you know i was looking for spring and summer and so far we just have one pair of flats open toe and then like a slight open toe heel not what i was looking for i mean honestly the vans have the most pop of color at this point Okay, last pair of shoes. So this will determine how well this box went. So far, I'm not impressed, just gonna be honest. And this is my third thread up box, th third thread up rescue box, I will add. Let's see, it's not a pair of boots, I can tell that. All right, all right. This is the winner out of all of the pairs. This is Kate Spade sandals, finally, for spring and summer. A great neutral color. Despite they are super worn, okay, they will still sell. Don't be afraid of reselling shoes that are worn, that don't look brand new. Someone out there is looking for the specific shoe. They want this to go with their dresses or they want it just to wear, you know, with the warmer weather coming up. So I'm glad we saved best for last with this because this is by far the best shoe out of this whole box that I got. I'm very happy. I would have liked to have seen all of the shoes be similar to this, not necessarily Kate Spade, but similar to this in terms of spring and summer as we are moving on to that and you know if i were to buy this as myself like wanting to actually wear the shoes and i was getting this box i would want to see current trends and current seasonal shoes not these heavy boots that i don't even know were vintage i don't even i don't even know that brand so i'm super happy that i got this kate spade shoes oh I love to photograph shoes and these 
and the vans will probably be the first ones that I photograph and list. So that was it. Boxes empty. That's all we have for the shoes. And what do you guys think? Do you think that I scored on this box? I personally do not think I did. Out of 10, I would probably rate this a four. This is probably my worst thread up box that I've gotten. Granted, it's the least amount of pieces I've gotten. I am happy that I got Kate Spade. And you know, the flats that I got, Tommy Hilfiger, at least that's a brand that we all know. And the Vans, of course the Vans. But here's the Vans. Um, I mean, I guess three out of seven isn't too bad, but I was hoping for more spring and summer, like I said. Oh. So I was hoping for more spring and summer, like I said. Um, have you ever purchased a Thread Up Rescue Box? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.